Hey Clashers, Supercell has finally changed how the star bonus multiplier works in Clash of Clans. That's right, with the last update they have changed it that the star bonus multiplier now not only affects the gold, elixir and dark elixir, but as well the ores which are now part of the star bonus. This obviously is crazy because you can get incredible numbers together with that, but we now have as well the first event where there is a four times star bonus available. But how do you unlock all of this? Because it is a community event, so we have to unlock milestones to actually get those rewards. I will tell you everything about it, when does the event start and how you get the most out of this event. The event starts on the 23rd May and it's going to finish on the 31st where you have to collect and do stuff to actually get their milestones. The rewards then will be unlocked on the 1st to 3rd June. The milestones are as following. The first one is to get 37.5 million destruction points as a community. That's right, you have to do attacks and multiplier, uh, multiplier attacks and you have to just destroy villages to make sure that as a community we're pushing this number higher. And well, then we can unlock more and more of those milestones. If you use, by the way, the event Kicker Barbarian, we get a bonus on top of that. And with community, I mean the entire Clash player community, the entire player base is going to be great to be able to maybe achieve all of those different five milestones because the rewards are insane. Take a look at this. The first one, okay, the first one is not that crazy. It's a training potion, okay? The second one already though is a one gem army boost and then we're getting into the star bonus multipliers. I really hope that we can get to multiplier with the four milestone number five because that would be just insane. The star bonus times four multiplied with the ores, that's going to be crazy. You can as well follow Clash of Clans on the social media channel and you can get even more rewards based on whatever we're going to unlock as a community. But the rewards with the star bonus are for everyone and that is going to be awesome because I will tell you as well how to take full advantage of that. You can follow the progression we have currently as a community in the event tab so we can already tell how far we were able to progress. I really hope that we can get to the final milestone. So make sure that you're doing as many attacks and multiplier as, as possible and use those event kickers. But now let's take a look. How can you actually take advantage of this or multiplier as much as possible? You have to push in trophies. Sounds simple, right? But you want to go to legends. How I call it, fake legends. And any town level can pretty much be in that fake legend and get can they can get just crazy ores because you can see already it is going up so much when you're higher in trophies. The star bonus is just increasing so much. How do you get there? How does it work? Don't worry, I will tell you. So what you have to do is you have to get to 5,000 trophies. That should be pretty much achievable with like turn or six and all the way above. It's just time-based, but I think especially for the majority of you who are around like town 10, maybe town 11, 12, 13, something like that, you can really easily get to that point. All you have to do, as I said, get to 5,000 trophies. You want to have this screen right here. But already disclaimer, don't press the button. You do not want to sign up to Legend League. You just want to have the bonus and you do not want to be restricted to all eight attacks because that would be kind of sad, only being able to attack eight times a day, right? You want to farm, you want to grind Clash of Clans, so do not press the button. What do you have to do instead? Instead, you have to remove your shields and then you have to go offline because you need to take a defense because you need to now drop below 5,000 trophies. If you were pushing from a lower trophy amount to the 5,000 trophies, you can as well get to that point of like, taking a defense or something with just doing a revenge attack and just surrendering that attack. If you're coming from legends though, that's not how it works. And you always have to get into fake legends from climbing up in trophies. You cannot be like 5,600 trophies and then go back to 5,000. No, you have to get to the sign up button screen. If you are joining fake legends from lower trophies, you can do this trick with losing trophies so you don't have to take a defense. But the important thing is get above 5,000 trophies to get the sign up pop-up screen. Do not sign up and then drop be like below 5,000 trophies. This is how it works. Because now I did exactly that. We're now on uh, 4,980 trophies and we still have the legend badge. That's how the trophy system works in Clash of Clans. And don't worry, this is no exploit, no bug, whatever. I've confirmed that with Supercell. This is an intended interaction. 
whenever you're pushing to a new tier in trophies, you can always drop below like around 100 trophies without losing that newly unlocked trophy range. So for example, if you're pushing to champion one, dropping 100 trophies, you're still in champion one. And that's the same thing in legends. So pushing to 5,000, then dropping to like, 4,901 trophy, you're still a legend. You all you have to do is stay between the 4,900 and 5,000 trophy mark. This is the crucial thing. Don't go below or above that. And as long as you're doing that, I can show you right now with the attack. We already saw, like, we have no restriction to eight attacks whatsoever. We just do the attack, we snipe the town hall, and we get the star bonus from Legend League. Take a look at that. We're getting the Legend League bonus. That obviously means as well, it's all time. That's right. If we are unlocking the four times star bonus, get to the fake legends. Because take a look at how much difference this is. If you're in Champion 1, you get for each day, well, around 2,100 of the blue ore as bonus. On top of the 7, uh, 700 already, okay? So getting each day... 2,800. If you're in Fake Legends, which is not that much higher, but it's a little bit higher, right? You're getting 4,000. That is just crazy how much impact this four times star bonus really has. So you do not want to then be on this stand of your equipment. You want to push even further. You want to get your equipments upgraded. And I feel like this type of event you have to take it. This is like one of the most crucial events you have to take advantage of. And the best thing, because everyone is already complaining about, oh yeah, the event pass here, event pass there, Supercell wants to buy me, like everything. No, this is completely free to play. Like you can unlock all of those ores completely free to play. Everyone can do it. You just have to get to this fake legend status, which can be, as I said, obtained with pretty much any town level. So your equipments are looking like this. This is kind of the achievement. Another really really important trick is to understand how the star bonus works it's called daily star bonus but as most of the things in clash of clans you can store one thing you have kind of like two lives of your heroes at the same time but you have two star bonus at the same time as well what does this mean you can tell here i have the star bonus in like around three hours and 37 minutes but if i don't do this star bonus attack today I have it then tomorrow. And that's exactly what I would recommend to you guys. Do not use your star bonus attack on the 31st May. Instead, save it. Don't attack on that day. Maybe take a shield or something. But don't attack on that day. Which means you have then two daily like two star bonus attacks or star bonus rewards on the 1st June. Even though this event only is on May uh, on June 1st to June 3rd, which is three days, you can get overall four star bonus, which is a ton of Easter. I mean, that is just so much. If you're on Fake Legends, that is four times 4,000 uh, 4, blue ore. That is 16,000 blue ore, which you can get in three days. That is insane. This is just so many resources to upgrade your equipment. So, Make sure you follow the steps which I have described in this video. Make sure you're getting into fake legends or real legends that, to be honest, doesn't really matter. But get into that highest league to get the highest reward for the ores. And before that, do as many attacks between the 23rd and the 31st May to make sure that we're getting to the last stage, the final milestone, so we can unlock all of those crazy, crazy rewards. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you guys back tomorrow with the next one. Other than see ya and bye-bye.